Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, Sean Strickland is at it again. He's an absolute menace. Many of you who maybe aren't UFC, regular UFC viewers, uh, were introduced to him uh, about uh, three weeks ago or a month ago or something while he was in Canada, and some woke journalist or reporter tried to get him with some gotcha question and immediately regretted it. Then this past weekend, in what seemed like a flurry of random clips of Sean Strickland over here, uh, boxing or sparring with some guy named Sneeko, uh, apparently is some sort of popular streamer or whatever. Then he was at some sort of after party or after event where he absolutely torched uh, MGK and Megan Fox for their bizarre uh, many would say demonic habit of consuming each other's blood. I don't know if you noticed this, but there seems to be a lot of overt, like demonic imagery coming out of Hollywood lately. I won't pretend like it's the first time that's happened. I mean, it's been a part of music for a very long time. And certainly there have been controversial Hollywood actors and actresses. I, I think didn't Billy Bob Thornton have a vial of his wife's blood around his neck or something. It was so, these people are weird. Um, but now it seems like they're not even trying to hide it. Well, Sean Strickland had a run in with, uh, MGK, who is, I guess, a musician. I, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't consider what he does music, but that's neither here nor there. You're going to make him cry. Fans react to Sean Strickland insults Megan Fox and MGK's relationship with South Park meme. What? Sean Strickland recently continue poking fun at MGK's real name, Colson Baker, and Megan Fox's relationship with a satirical South Park meme. Okay, I assume it's the goth pain guy. The former UFC middleweight champion found himself in the midst of yet another controversy over leaving popular streamer Sneeko uh, in a sparring match, a friendly sparring session on Friday night. Strickland encountered Grammy-nominated rapper MGK at a star-studded power slap event held at Durango Casino Resort, Las Vegas. In a viral clip capturing the incident, Tarzan can be observed engaging in a heated exchange with MGK. While the exact reason for the confrontation remains unclear, Strickland is heard labeling MGK as a weirdo and assaulting his attire as he walks away. The contentious MMA star can be heard shouting, I'm easy to find, vampire man. Well, yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this clip. I don't know. Uh, why MGK would th even think of you know challenging Sean Strickland, who is a I don't know absolute maniac, uh, but I guess that's what he wants to do. Um, then you have uh, following the incident, Strickland went on X and made derogatory remarks about the American singer in a series of tweets, even bringing his partner Hollywood star Megan Fox into the discussion. Look, I, I don't know what Megan Fox did to her face and body, but it you know she looks like plastic, uh, weird. Like she used to be genuinely beautiful. Now she looks like, um, I don't know, more silicone than than human. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why all these Hollywood people go for this look, um, but they look weird. Anyway, uh, following the incident, Strickland went on X. Sean Wright, I almost hit a vampire tonight, LOL. They said his name is MGK or Machine Gun Kelly. How do you have a dope name like that and dress like a 13-year-old goth South Park character? You guys, what the F is going on? Transformers Megan Fox is with that thing? What the actual frick has happened in the world? What did I miss? Is she okay? Is this man the devil? Megan Fox, are you okay? Do you need assistance? I mean, again, a fair question to ask. And then you write, man, I just found out about Megan. Duh, F has happened since Transformers. Transformers, I'm done. Good night. Tarzan recently went on X and expanded on his South Park comment by sharing a collage featuring 
Megan Fox juxtaposed with Michael, a goth character from renowned American animated sitcom. Uh, you know, fans respond, you're going to make them cry. Woke up in bully mode. America needs more bullying. I mean, yeah, I'd say probably true. Now, I don't, you know, I, I think that uh, if you look at these weirdos, this is not a made up thing. Here's an interview with whatever happened to Megan Fox. This is like a, it's like a pod person. Like she went from like a beautiful woman to whatever this is. I don't, her face is bigger, longer. I don't even know what, how many procedures she's had, but it's clearly been a ton. But you see actress Megan Fox and appeared in a video clip in where she admitted that they enjoy each other's blood at parties at some sort, as some sort of ritual. As she said, this increases the bond between them. Soon they were announced that they're eating children. I guess to drink each other's blood might mislead people or like people are imagining us with like goblets and we're like Game of Thrones drinking each other's blood. It's just a few drops. Oh, oh, guys, it's just a few drops of each other's blood that they're drinking. Well, nothing to see here. That's totally normal. That's a totally normal thing. But yes, we do consume each other's blood on occasion for ritual purposes. What ritual? What, rit what ritual? I'm curious what ritual uh, that you're practicing would require that. Like, I'm genuinely asking, what ritual? Is it a satanic ritual? I mean, here in the United States... We just had a U.S. Army veteran get a hate crime charge for destroying a uh, satanic statue. Starts to, starts to make, make you think that Alex was right about a lot of things. This is only. Only, <laughs> It is yeah. used for a reason, and it is controlled where it's like, let's shed a few drops of blood and each drink it. He's much more haphazard and hectic. I like how she's trying to explain this like it's totally normal. Like, guys, it's basically like getting your nails done, okay? We shed, by the way, that's another, like, demonic term. Um, but, like, we just shed a few drops. Guys, calm down. We're just consuming each other's blood. It's like chaotic where he's willing to just, like, cut his chest open with broken glass and be like, take my soul. Let me bleed on you. <laughs> Take my soul, let me bleed on you. Now, what I find pretty funny about this is that is the, you know, that's the actual, that's probably actually what happens. You know what I mean? Like she's, that probably is what he says or does. I mean, they can worship whatever they want because at the end of their life, they're going to go one way or the other. And I suspect I know which way, but yikes. <laughs> it doesn't not happen. Let me tell you, maybe. So it does happen. So he takes a piece of broken glass and, and says, let me bleed on you. Guys, that's totally normal. Why do you think, why are, why is everybody picking on all these Hollywood people? Guys. They're just like you and me. We should look up to them. We should follow their Instagrams. They're normal, just like us. Not exactly like that, but it a version of that has happened. Oh, 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 okay. So right out in the open, you know, right out in the open, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, what appears. I don't know. Generally, when you hear the term ritual, you think about like demons or whatever. I, I know that that's not always the case. I know that there are other quote unquote rituals. I mean, marriage ceremony is a ritual. Um, you know, it's a ritual for uh, me to watch YouTube shorts while I'm taking a number two. Okay. So I don't know, but I, I would suspect there's some sort of demonic side of it, you know? And, and so Sean Strickland now has been going, going absolutely unhinged posting memes like this one last night, vampires, uh, you know, this thing, he's got Sean Strickland as blade. Um, you know, I, I think that, you know, here you see doing the Sean Strickland says doing the Lord's work. It's a UFC champ takes jabs at Megan Fox for decision to be in relationship with weirdo. 
So this is after now, you know, watching him spar with Sneeko, who is an absolute amateur uh boxer, you know, that's a little weird. Um he did go kinda hard on him, but at the end of the day, like this is what Megan Fox used to look like. Now, age is a thing. People get older, right? But as people get older, it's like this Kim Kardashian thing too, like where they their faces get like all Botox, like they have no emotion. And then they 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 eat like nothing and they go down to like size negative two. And then they still for some reason have huge boobs that definitely aren't implants. And then they're saying, you know, oh, I drink blood. It's just normal. Guys, it's it's normal. You see this within 24 hours. Strickland has met former President Donald Trump, uh, beat the brakes off Sneeko, and now almost fought MGK. I don't, I don't know what's, you know, maybe Sean's just like picking on him. I don't know. I'm not sure he even knew who he was. But he immediately goes and takes pictures with fans. Like, Sean Strickland does not give a, 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 a frick. Like, he does not care. I love it. I just love it. Uh, obviously, Jake Paul is trying to goad him into a fight. You know, I'm not sure. You know, I think Jake Paul is a legitimate boxer. But I'd like to see him take on another legitimate boxer in their prime, not just big money fights against people who are part-time boxers or people who are past their prime. You know, that would be, like, in my opinion, a, it would be more interesting if that's what Jake Paul did. Um, you know, I would take it more seriously if he didn't fight people who were washed. But uh, that's either here you see, hey, Jake, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pad my record with a part-time boxer. Part-time boxer off the couch wins. You see this, like, you know, Nick Fury, or I think it's Nick, Tyson Fury, sorry. Uh, again, I don't care about boxing because it's all rigged. But uh, again, so in, so in three days, he faces off, or one day, faces off against Trump, roasts Jake Paul, beats up Sneeko, and roasts MGK and his devil worship uh, girlfriend, Megan Fox. I mean, what a, what a weekend for Sean Strickland. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. We'll talk to you again real soon.